Trading Linus Allmark is something every Bruins fan can't stop talking about right now because most of us feel Swayman is the new number one, he will be signed, and the Bruins will move on from Allmark. Me personally, I hope we haven't seen the last of the goalie hug, but it sure looks that way. In an article by Ty Anderson today from 98.5 The Sports Hub, link will be in the description. At Management Breakup Day, Sweeney was quoted in saying, those things will take care of themselves. When discussing the uncertain future of Allmark amid trade rumors and a massive payday awaiting restricted free agent goaltender Jeremy Sweeney. No conversation I'm going to have with a player in terms of what I'm trying to do until we have a conversation is really going to go be public. I hope you all respect that because ultimately that as a player, a former player, I would hope would happen. We're going to find a landing spot with Swayman. And if we can make the math work, we're going to have the best tandem. If we can't, we're going to explore options. And for Linus, he may come to us and change his mind. That may occur as well. Right now, we're very happy to have signed Linus, and in a perfect world, we would keep the tandem because I think it's a damn good. But we're going to explore opportunities. My phone's going to ring, I'm going to make calls. That's just what the job requires. In a previous video, I mentioned the Bruins had a trade in place with the Los Angeles Kings, but Allmark used his no-trade clause to not go to LA. What was in return for Allmark was never reported, so anything I say now will be speculation. We know the Bruins were looking for help with scoring down the middle, but nothing says the return wasn't a bunch of picks, and we'll never know. Ty mentions two possible landing spots for Allmark, Carolina and Ottawa, in addition to LA. With Carolina, Elliot Freeman mentioned on 32 Thoughts the podcast that Carolina had been interested in Allmark at the trade deadline. After the second round loss, I don't see that changing. You would think that a team that already has Anderson and Nett and Kochenkov waiting in the wings wouldn't be looking for a goalie. But Anderson struggled at times in the playoffs and has had a history of not making that save when you need it in the playoffs. I'm not saying Allmark had a better record, but he's won a Vezina and has bailed his teammates many games. Allmark's salary of five million also makes it easier to move as it's not a lot against the cap. Anderson only has one year left on his deal at 3.4 million and it would be an upgrade between the pipes for many teams. Carolina could quickly bring in Allmark and move out Anderson with very little cap applications. The rumored return would be one of the fastest skaters in the league, Martin Natchez. Natchez's dad spoke to a reporter and expressed his son's interest in leaving Carolina, which could force the new GM, Eric Tulski, to accommodate him. Natchez is looking for a new deal after getting 53 points in 77 games, 27 which were goals. The Bruins would love that. The Bruins need scoring and his speed wouldn't hurt them either. Natchez played with Natchez played wing for Carolina, but as reported by Ty, can play center and would like to. If the Bruins could acquire Natchez and sign him to a new deal, it might be an easy fit for him as fellow countrymen David Pasternak and Pavel Zakhar already play on the team. Carolina has cap issues they need to look at this offseason. With $26 million in projected cap space, they have to still side Tara Vinen, possibly Jake Gutzel, definitely Seth Jarvis, and Brent Pesci, just to name a few. This trade might even help them keep one of those players and upgrade in the net. The other team was Ottawa, and while the rumored return sounds too good to be true, I don't feel it fits the need the Bruins have. I've said it before, the Bruins need scoring and help down the middle. According to Bruce Garriott, Stales and the club's hockey operations department are expected to make another pitch before the draft set on June 28th, 29th in Las Vegas. Senators insider Bruce Garriott wrote last week the Senators, Los Angeles Kings, and the New Jersey Devils were all among several teams that had made a push for the 30-year-old Allmark before the deadline. According to the article, a league executive said Thursday he believes the Senators would likely have to offer defenseman Jacob Chitgren along with a first-round pick and another selection to acquire Allmark, Garriott wrote. Even then, Allmark has the hammer because he has his modified no-trade clause. As Ty points out, Allmark might not want to waive his no-trade to go to Ottawa, and I even think the Bruins might not want to trade him to a team in their division. Allmark was quoted as saying, it's very hard when he was talking about his no-trade and waiving it for another team. I mean, like I said, we don't really have all these luxuries to really tell, like, I don't want to be at a certain area, and then there might be other things as well throughout your career that let's say, for example, you have one team that would be on the West Coast that is really, really bad. And then you have another on your trade list. But then all of a sudden, maybe three years later, they're not bad. They might be a contender. You can just look at Edmonton or whatever it looks at those teams that might be really bad, but now are really good. You might want to wave at that point, but you can't really think about it. You know, in advance, like how are these teams going to be in there for four years? You can't really look into the little crystal ball in the future and say, hey, this is what it's going to be. I'm going to go there and whatever because it might go to shit as well. 
Like, honestly, at this point, I totally feel bad for Allmark because he's just got to be getting hammered by reporters. The good news is it's the off season. The bad news is he's a hot commodity now. Most networks right now are putting him in the top five of the best players to acquire right now for a trade. Now, don't get me wrong. Chikrin wouldn't be a bad thing on the left side along Lindholm and Lowry, but I think their biggest need is at center and scoring after watching this year's playoffs. If I could choose between the two rumored deals, I'd take Natchez from Carolina in a heartbeat. He solves so many things. Scoring, could possibly play center. Imagine him on a line with Pavel Zaka and Pasternak. Honestly, like that's the deal I would do. Thank you for watching and please let me know in the comments which deal you prefer or if you have another one that's not even been mentioned, let me know. If you like this video, please consider dropping a like and subscribing. See you next time.